Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to another recording session of Hearthstone, or maybe just one recording. I don't know, we've got these new quests, so anything can happen here. The Choose Your Champion thing is happening right now, too. I figured out how this Choose Your Champion works, why there's two sessions to two time periods to choose your champion. Effectively, what it is is there's the early period where you can lock in and win more packs if your pick wins a lot or you can wait over blizzard con when you can't choose a champion and when half of the tournament apparently goes through but not all of the tournament and then you can make a more informed choice at that point if you hadn't made a choice already and l win less packs of course for me since I don't know any of these players anyways, I might as well just pick the random uh, Mr. Handsome Guy is who I picked, actually. Uh, is the name of them. Just, I, I looked at the South Korean ones and that was it. So, here we go. 75 Battle Cry minions. 30 Battle Cry minions. 10 combo cards. No Tavern Brawl necessary. Do I have any cards to, that I could like disenchant or anything. Nope. So we're good there. Um, I've also probably decided I'm not going to do that big tavern brawl whenever that comes out. The, who would have the most battle cries cards though? This is going to be interesting because I have no clue. Battle cry, battle cry, battle cry, battle cry, battle cry, battle cry, battle cry. There's not a ton in Hunter. Not really a ton in Shaman. Not a ton in warrior. Who would have the most battle cries? Would it be wild druid perhaps? Let's check that out. Now see this is the ultimate problem of where this goes. Is once we have to figure out which one is which. It's not druid. Um, Paladin maybe? Yeah, let's play Wild Paladin. That's a Murloc deck that'll work probably well to set. Line up with combo cards, not really 10 combo cards. I'll have to, like, I don't even know on that, on that level, what cards I would, uh, what deck even has any combo cards. It's probably a rogue deck, but I don't think I probably have anything like that. So, do I, what do I do? I, I guess... To get the quest Versus done, I have brawl. to go change my deck. For Doomhammer. For temporary I will fight deck, with honor. Which you can't really do. And that's really weird. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get rid of this one. And this one. And just stick with the one. So, these new quests are supposed to make it easier. I'm not sure they really will. Let's see. Armor up or lightning fire blast. Let's, let's do armor up. I think armor up is better than doing one damage. Um... As far as things to talk about, too, this is a bad 
point. Like, I have my list written here, and again, nothing has happened recently. Let's see. Uh, there are no delayed games listed right now in the three days because the three days practically have been just a weekend the nintendo switch was announced so maybe i didn't talk about that but i think i already did so that's that's its own thing I mean, the, the thing that about the Nintendo Switch that's become more apparent since it is it's coming out allegedly in March of 2017 and January, February, March, like five months from when I'm recording and it's probably not going to give, they, they've said they're not going to give any other information about it until it, it comes out. So we're not going to get anything new about it, so whatever. I mean, I... I think they needed to go even harder if, just to be honest here, it's like, I think a full on, like, it's out right now <laughs> announcement with an incredibly rich and diverse amount of games that are compatible with it. Like, all Wii, all Wii U, all Nintendo games in general and backwards compatible. It's gonna have a lunch lineup of a hundred games, that thing. Uh, so, better talk about uh, things other than just. Uh, but of course. What am, what am I gonna say here? Uh, Skyrim, yeah, like. Skyrim is a three-year-old game. They needed to announce more than just that. That's not that much. Play for while I'm doing this. Uh, so, yeah. On top of that, I don't think the Switch is, is far, going far enough. Honestly. I, I think, unless it comes out and it's saying it's doing 2K gaming or 4K gaming on that screen. Unless it says it has a ridiculously high amount of, um, I guess we might as well play right now. Uh, high amount of battery time on it. I, I feel like something that's also getting missed on the Switch is the triggers. Uh, I'm not sure if there are triggers, particularly in the back of the, those controllers or if there's just right bump and left bump and even Who's if there are triggers in comparison to uh, Xbox 360 controller and Xbox I will fight with uh, 1 honor. controller PlayStation 3 or 4 controller all of those uh, the throw the distance from the highest point on the trigger to the lowest point on the trigger is going to be considerably smaller because those controllers look incredibly small also it's worth pointing out that that when they split the, the controller in half and you give one to a friend that mean that's an entirely different controller mode with less buttons by far 
you've cut your buttons in half. So only certain games, or certain modes in certain games, even, are going to be able to play that. Okay. If we do this. We do this. this. There's two more battle cries. I have to do 75. That's a really high number. Uh, some of the things I have, like, are for news. Is. The new, there's a new Wolfenstein, which I think I already talked about that. Or they're hinting, the voice actor is hinting at it. Uh, the voice actors are on strike right now. But it doesn't go on to do on. Jim Sterling tried to have an intelligent rant about that in his latest impressions video which was talking and failed miserably as far as trying to have an intelligent discussion there and immediately devolves into childishness which I guess is kind of Jim Sterling in a nutshell isn't it? Shots fired. Uh, but there is certainly an issue with other people in the video game industry besides the voice actors not having a union so the video game programmers and and in general the video game developers uh, to be less specific so you may not be a programmer you may be a director or a writer or something else like that I don't know if you write so for video games are most of the jobs do the Writers Guild of America or whatever union that would be. I think that's the Writers Guild of America. If I was to just guess, which is kind of what I'm doing. Um, so, but definitely there's no Programmers Guild or anything like that. Kind of wish there was, honestly, because Man, if, if there was a video game programmer's guild, I a union, then there would have probably been a slightly better chance of me, it would be an infinitely smaller better chance of me going for my first desire as a child, which was to be a video game programmer. And... It wasn't a completely non-factor when I finally gave up on that dream. Uh, one of the factors was the fact that programming video games takes way too much work and you get abused as an employee and you get fired as soon as the job is done. And it's just not a great place to work on. Plus, it would make for better video games just as a consumer and critic as I am now. Uh, if, for instance, uh, the company that made your favorite game, whatever it may be, couldn't, because of union uh, agreements, just get rid of all the, uh, get rid of them, all the programmers after the game, then we would have better programmed games and we wouldn't really probably I mean it's a big speculation but we probably wouldn't be in the situation where we are now where games are buggy every time even sequels to games are buggy and you need patches uh, the bugginess that we consistently see as consumers some of that would be alleviated if you had a polished <laughs> team of employees where you knew where your co-workers were, you knew how to work with them, you knew the engine you were working on because you worked on it in the previous project. And uh, so there's, there's a lot of benefit there too. Plus if, if programmers 
weren't so overworked, it would probably fix a lot of things too. Another battle cry. Go and hit that guy. Um, the Skyrim mod space for the PlayStation 4 is only one gigabyte. Where on the Xbox One it's five gigabytes. Now, I think it's kind of a non-issue for me because I'm about to get the Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, I'm teetering on actually playing the Skyrim Special Edition if I can finish up Pinball FX, which is taking forever, and it's going to go into January of 2017 in that time slot, and then kind of. Also, in that time slot, I'm probably gonna turn around and start doing. That would be the same time slot that um, Skyrim would be in. So, if I started playing that Skyrim, it's that time slot is gonna be Pinball FX uh, two, and then hours and hours and hours of Skyrim, like hours and hours. Even if I doubled it up. Even if I released an hour at, I think that's a four o'clock time slot at four o'clock, and then another hour of footage at 4:30. Mm -hmm. So people who have even watched the uh, hour of the first one wouldn't be uh, finished with the second one. You're still talking 50 recording sets at least two months, or it's four months if I do just an hour. And if I do play Skyrim, I've got to play it with every intention to, to have an accelerated experience there and not just run around and not just try to level up. Uh, try to do just the main stories and maybe a few of the things. I really would like to see some of the DLC stuff uh, because I haven't done any of that. So. Uh, and one of the things that's kind of funny about Skyrim is the beginning kind of starts the same, so I kind of need to break out of the beginning. Uh, but when I first played it, I probably broke out of the beginning pretty early. Uh, I watched this ad for Star Wars The Old Republic, which is an MMO, and I was watching this highly cinematic trailer, and... Uh, it interested me into potentially playing it until I found out it was an MMO and then I said, well, no, I can't play it. There, there is this question that, that goes in my head. I have a lot of Star Wars games, a lot of the Knights of the Old Republic things because I just bought a bundle of Star Wars things. And the only things I know for sure I want to play are The Force Unleashed, which is a single player game. Uh, to my side. So, Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed 2. And a lot of those baby. other ones, particularly if they're just in the wild, they, they probably won't even work. And I don't know how to get into that stuff. Particularly since I'm not that big of a Star Wars fan. I, I kind of, I think I'm in a better position because I am not that big of a Star Wars fan, or not that big of an indie fan, really. I used to be a huge Nintendo fan, and so I've been through that fandom and just tried to collect them all. Uh, I was collecting all of Nintendo for probably two decades before Pokemon even came out. Uh, So, I don't know how far I should really go with that, or oh, whatever. Uh, the, the May the 4th be with you idea is kind of what I'm thinking about, is that maybe in the month of May we will start some Star Wars things. 
On top of which, there are Star Wars movies that are going to come out twice a year, practically. So that I is will another concern. With honor. I if will I can command the play light. something, I still have one more uh, Star Wars, Lego Star Wars uh, 3, which is kind of based on the Clone Wars, I believe. So that's another consideration. No, the legions I command. Oh, this Murloc deck doesn't have that card. Interesting. Couldn't even bother to put it in, could I? Uh, a weird thing happened here. The voice actor, possibly because the voice actors are on strike, possibly because the voice this voice actor has a decent agent or a social media guy. He somehow found my posts of, of the voice actor of the dealer of Hand of Fate. Somehow found my pace, posts and liked them and re or and or retweeted them. I, I'm not sure which one he did, but reporting for uh, duty. And I assume it really is a voice actor and not just somebody making a fake Twitter page pretending to be him. The, the issue there is kind of funny because I'm not going to like intentionally follow a voice actor because they're just going to either talk about their own career, which is going to be kind of boring, or they're going to like uh, talk about random things, which is not what my Twitter is about. Like my Twitter, I only really follow video games and video game announcements uh, type stuff. Uh, one notable exception, Patrick Stewart. So Patrick Stewart, like his account looks like it's been hacked today and I had to flag one of his posts because it was uh, f full up spam, naked woman uh, saying click here to see more. Literally, is what it was. And Not either that is some really subtle viral marketing for his, uh, his show Blunt Talk, which I don't think so, because it's going to get his account banned if that's the truth. Or it was hacked. Reporting for duty. So I wouldn't be surprised if that even makes it to the news. <laughs> Uh, but that is really cool that the voice actor found my posts, and I've I've been getting so some as far as just progress on my own channel. I've been getting slightly more retweets and likes lately, which is nice. Uh, my income, I think, has kind of dropped. It, it's it's teetering around sixty percent in ad revenue, but. Part of that very well may be my own fault because we had the cat lady and it's still going on. And so the cat lady I intentionally the battle. Uh, locked away behind the age gate. And when you lock anything behind an age gate, then. Um, then you get no address no advertising on it at all. So one of my time slots is is I know won't get any ad revenue and for the entire month. So that's part of it. The other issue that this is going to get worse with is as soon as Pinball FX starts airing, I has a tiny chance of bringing in more people because there's a lot of Marvel uh, there's a lot of Marvel tables so if I can put the word Marvel in the title maybe that will get some more viewers but uh, and there's a lot of Star Wars tables same thing and then Portal and Walking Dead some big big ticket names but I don't think it's really going to get any more views uh, but Overall, in the past seven days, everything else is higher. More likes, more dislikes, more 
Um, more views, more watch time. My watch time is up to like 3 minutes and 15 seconds on that average, which is an entire minute 15 Who since the last time I've really looked at it. Like, people are starting to watch a little bit longer, and that's good to know. Uh, I'm hoping my like uh, Christmas card pack opening thing gets some makes some some interesting viewing. I'm not sure it really will. Reporting for duty. So, um, I don't know. Uh, as far as holidays and stuff, I, I've been through basically one year with the old artwork on holidays. Those videos didn't really get any views, and it's not super surprising for that, so I don't think in 2017 we're going to continue that. That is... A lot to do with just I don't have an artist that that gets me art ever, so it, it's back to the same complaint. Again, like, I, I really need a, a dedicated artist who is actually dedicated to to getting stuff done and who can think of some new ideas. On their own, that would be helpful too. I watched a YouTube video of like three of the earliest, three really early video game YouTubers and how they, uh, how they just kind of blew it and why you haven't heard of any of these people. And it's interesting, like one was really big and then the main guy on it. The, the basic terrorist attack and, and, and the, it ruined the, the advertiser appeal of it. One of them was Machinima and Machinima simply didn't fully explain who some of their artists were. So in, in Machinima's case like they had this huge deal with Levi's jeans and they they said well one of our most popular persons is PewDiePie and so then a guy who worked at Levi's jeans uh, or more realistically the private investigator hired to to search all the employees of, of, of Machinima for this million dollar deal I will fight uh, with or honor. more I don't know uh, found a PewDiePie video where he's just yelling about rape, uh, assumedly in some dumb joke. Uh, PewDiePie has gotten more, more ad-friendly lately than he used to be, and that is also true for the angry video game, though, which one of the other stories was of somebody, they were looking for somebody like the angry, angry video game there, and, and they chose somebody else who didn't make as many dirty jokes as Angry Video Game Nerd used to. So, yeah, the YouTube just used to be this Wild West, and so, in a real way, I guess it already has been affected. And that kind of puts it in a weird position, because you, you, you kind of have to wonder, it's like... Are all the drama channels that are on YouTube today specifically in feeling the need of all the drama and you can't see this on TV attitude that have left some of the bigger YouTube things? See, that's the weird thing about it. 
And then that's the thing about YouTube Red in general that that starts to feel really silly is the the content that you would want that I think that YouTube could get a lot of money for and they would really people would really pay for is not the stuff that they're doing on YouTube Red. If they did YouTube Red and it was I this is the adult opinion. content, full nudity, sexual situations, uh, you have to have a credit card on file, therefore you have to be an adult because theoretically kids don't have credit cards and legally they don't because you can't make a contract with a minor. So, uh, when you look at it from that perspective, yeah, that'd be really interesting. And I could certainly see an appeal to that. There's plenty of people that don't want to see uh, even hidden credit card charges because no porn site's going to put porn site in the name usually, uh, although some of them do. They usually try to hide it in some way. But if it just said Google ten dollars a month, and then that let, and then it just became like AeroShare. Oh, I guess I'm I'm giving away secrets to kids here, maybe. Ah, whatever. There's this there's this website called AeroShare that, that adults hopefully uh, post pictures of themselves naked on, and. If YouTube took that and got ten dollars a month out of that, I think that'd be a much better offer than having PewDiePie uh, make special content or Good Morning Mythical America, uh, which make, make things that aren't even like what they've made before, or paying The Rock to do a time traveling movie or uh, series. It's just like they're not gonna be the next Netflix. If, if YouTube wants to be the next Netflix, then they've gotta at that point not call it YouTube because it's just not worth the the fear there. The fear that all the, us small guys are gonna get kicked out of YouTube for Netflix. They should have called it Google Play. They should have used their Google Play brand, really. It's like Google Play is going to make original content, uh, Google Play movies, Google Play TV. That's where it should have gone. And the fact that they have two brands just goes to show how Google in general is just this huge megalith. See, now we're in a weird position here. We've gone 30 minutes. I've talked about, I guess, three out of the six things I, I can talk about, so I can go one more recording. But I need to find off-screen combo cards. Seems like we could, we're not even going to get the battle cry cards done, too. So, these new quests may not be as helpful as you think, <laughs> in, a, in a strange way. Uh, unless I go make a Battlecry deck and delete something, which I guess I can do. I could go delete the Mage deck in Wild because there's no reason specifically to ever play that. Uh, or I probably will never play it. Any of these characters that I have at maximum level 60, so Mage, Paladin, or Priest, I could, I could definitely get rid of those cards in wild and then I'd have three uh, slots to make new decks but it may be battle cry this week it may be combo cards next week I don't know adding 35 deck uh, quests is put a switch to it anyways though that's going to be it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all that helps out if you want to support me further, you can click on my name right o. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. 
Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.